Hey folks, Dr. Charles Parker here following up on new ADHD medication rules insights. And here's one that you can really take home and use. So many people have significant problems with medications based on GI disturbances, gastrointestinal, mouth to the south disturbances. And we have another video on it talking about it, general application as it relates to liver. And so what's a, what's a GI problem? Irritable bowel syndrome, uh, constipation, diarrhea, periods of constipation, diarrhea. The transit time from the mouth to the south, you need to know this. This is something to tell your friends about. Should be 18 to 24 hours. 18 to 24 hours, and there's a very simple, I call it the most expensive, difficult test in medicine that you can take. It's cost about 69 cents, something like that. And what you can do very simply is get a can of corn. Hopefully you're not allergic to corn. And, but if you aren't, you can then go ahead and take that corn, look at your watch, very difficult, check the time, and see how long it takes to travel from the mouth to the south. Now, what do I mean by the south? Get somebody that can tell you if you really don't get it. It's not that difficult. And so when you look at it, why would I use corn? Well, because you can see it. And in the handout that I have on the notes here, there are several other items that you can use, including uh, pharmaceutical grade charcoal you can get at your pharmacy. There are a whole lot of things if you want to be, you know, more um, ruffles and flourishes about it, so to speak. But the bottom line is you measure it. That's the bottom line. It's not a joke. I've had people that said they really couldn't understand why they had medication problems that actually had a transit time not one or two days but three weeks three weeks yeah you don't want to hear about that stool delivery process and I can tell you I have a number of people who've had significant problems for years getting the medication straight and when we actually dig into what's going on with their mouth to the south variables Oh, yeah, I know when I have something for dinner, I can just, boom, see it in the morning the next day. No question about it. I mean, that transit time is going to be less than eight hours. It's certainly not going to be 18 hours. So what happens is that the issue is the liver then has to compensate. The medications don't work predictably. The key point here, and the reason I wrote new ADHD medication rules, these medications work predictably if you only, if we collectively, it's not you or me, it's both of us, of all of us, follow the science and actually stay with the science and look at the fact that the medication has to pass through the body to get to the mind. It just doesn't go like boom from the mouth right into brain cells or neurotransmitter synapses. It doesn't happen. And so what happens is if that gut is corrupted, neurotransmitters become imbalanced, Immune system problems corrupt the neurotransmitters. These are more videos coming up. And then the whole thing can be completely blown because then you can have significant problems with trace elements that aren't metabolized correctly. And trace elements get right in there and actually help those enzymes do what they need to do. To get the neurotransmitters formed from the proteins that you're taking. The proteins don't turn over into neurotransmitters automatically. It takes enzymatic activity, and trace elements help the enzymatic activity. You know, there's a lot to talk about, folks. Stay tuned here on YouTube. This is just scratching the surface. There's so much more to talk about, and if you understand it, it's not that complicated. And it can actually be some fun if you think about it. And so stay tuned. We'll have some more soon.